Hello and welcome. This is H. Liz John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Today we're going to be studying dynamic fragments. What we're going to redo is we're actually going to go back into a project that we already did but as a static fragment uh, app application, multi-pane fragment, and we're going to redo it so that it is done dynamically and it will do it will load these pictures when you click the buttons and that's what we're going to do and uh, this is actually going to be a two-part lesson because it would be rather long if I broke it up and did it all in one so I'm going to break it up into two and the first one is me explaining what's going on in the background so I know people hate PowerPoints but this is the easiest way to do this first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go back in open the project uh, and create some new things but We've already created my activity Java and activity my XML. And so we're going to look at these. Now we're going to have a frame layout that we're going to create called primary panel and side panel. Let's take a look at those. When we go in here, we're going to create these frame layouts. I believe they were originally called they were originally either linear or um, relative layouts. Uh, and we're going to add these frame layouts and we're going to call them primary panel and side panel and those are basically just going to be uh, the containers for our uh, two um, major panels uh, that we're going to be having uh, the side panel of course and the primary, pa primary panel and there's the side panel alright so my activity sets the content activity my XML uses layout activity my let's take a look at that set content view right of the layout activity my so that's how it knows where to go it, it sets the content view for my activity of activity my and the new main panel fragment as you can see it loads these two fragments these two main panel and button panel fragment and it does that here in myactivity.java by setting a new main panel fragment here and it is in the next set it does new button panel fragment so it's loading these two fragments for the first time in myactivity.java let's take a look at these new fragments they're both loaded through myactivity.java and the new fragments are added to primary panel and side panel if we you remember we looked at primary panel and side panel those were the names given to those frame layouts so these are going to be loaded into those frame layouts by name uh, we're also going to inflate the main panel show that show you that and this is the main panel and this is what we're inflating and it's basically just an image view and a linear layout that's all it is and then the button panel panel fragment is going to inflate the button panel XML and that's basically this it's those three buttons and a green background that's all that is and it all goes into the primary panel and side panels that we looked at earlier in the activity my XML all this goes into here and that's where we see it all right, let's take a look at the uh, button panel fragment and the inflating of the button panel XML. What we've got here is the button panel fragment. Uh, one thing that we'll notice is all these things that we send from the button panel fragment.java that go into the primary panel, primary panel. So that's something to re to remember because that that labeling on the first XML page is very very important okay so we've got the button panel up we've got it inflated we've got it in the panel and now we've got those on click listeners we're gonna build on click listeners and we're gonna wait for buttons and so we've got one on click listener two on click three on click listeners because we've got three buttons and they're sitting there waiting for someone to click on a button so someone comes by they see the app they click a button and then this is going to load one of the main panel fragment the new what's going to replace actually 
the new main panel fragment 2 or the new main panel fragment 3 and it's going to replace what's in the primary panel which at the very beginning of the app is going to be main panel fragment because we added that in the very beginning and again it's going to use the uh, primary panel and side panels to do that all right replace primary panel and this is sending this new instance of the main panel fragment to replace whatever's in primary panel and button click 2 does the same thing but it sends uh, main panel fragment 2 new instance of to replace whatever's in primary panel and same thing with 3 so that's what the on click listens uh, for and when it gets clicked it sends that information over and that's pretty much it that's what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial. What we're going to do is we're going to convert the old multi-pane fragment into the new multi-pane fragment. We're going to be end up creating two new panels, main panel fragment 2, main panel fragment 3, and we're going to create their corresponding XML files, main panel 2, main panel 3, and we're going to use those in conjunction with uh, uh, activity my XML and the button panel fragment which we're going to heavily modify with these buttons uh, to load our new fragments uh, into uh, our app dynamically uh, through this frame layout primary panel that we named so that's what we're going to be doing again fragments are very important and the concept and ideas here are going to be uh, useful to you as a app programmer I'm glad you could join me I hope you're learning something and I'm hoping I'm explaining this easily and conveniently so that you can con grab the concepts and run with them. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up and I'll see you around.